talk about Future with Hope. Can you believe it's, all, it's been almost three years since Superstorm Sandy hit? Um, this is going to be our second year in our three-year campaign. And so far, the Future with Hope, a Future with Hope, the uh, portion where we're helping to rebuild the homes, has completed 178 <coughs> homes down along the Jersey Shore. Uh, has another 38 <coughs> in the process. Uh, they have worked with more than 400 families, which, in, which includes over 900 people, uh, more than 180 seniors and 170 youth in that. Uh, they hit their 10,000th volunteer in July, um, and they have 15 hosting sites, so they can host up to 383 volunteers at any given time. Our primary collection for it is going to be on <coughs> Sunday, October 25th, but you can give any time. Those some have been giving throughout the year, uh, or you can give even after that. Uh, last year we collected uh, four thousand dollars, of which only twenty eight hundred was pledged. So you don't have to have pledged in order to give for it. Um, if you for, if you have forgotten what your pledge was, reach out to Lois. Lois has your card from from last year that you submitted, and she can uh, let you know what that is. Also, 25% of all the money that is collected stays here in, in our church for use locally. So last year, that amounted to about $1,000 that we were able to use locally. Um, the rest of it goes to a future with hope to help rebuild, as well as the Imagine No, no Malaria Fund. Now let us pray. Lord, it's so easy for us to hold on tightly to the money we earn. Help us to realize that you alone gave us the ability to do our jobs and to earn the money that we do. Help us to be open-minded in our giving and to show our thanks to you. Bless these gifts. Amen.